hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mate and today we are continuing with the Westerlands playthrough as the Lannister House. Currently Lord Paramount Raymond, son of Tyrion, at the tender age of 21 is our Lord and Regent. Uh, although we are still under the Iron Throne and my kinsman young Jamie, who is son of Tommen. Uh, right, so we are in the midst of a war assisting my uh, Baelish ally um, in his defence. So what I think we will do is use the Vassal's troops from the High Lordship of Castamere as he will give me 8,000 troops off the bat. And I will send in my commanders to go and assist him in his efforts um, we have a marriage proposal here Regency Council has convened to vote on a dispute that has arisen between two vassals uh, I'm happy for him to get annoyed where well, they voted against okay to the magnificent Lord Paramount Raymond, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We propose that Jamie marries my sister. Um, I suppose it keeps the Lannister on the throne at all times, so yeah, sure. I'm happy with that. I didn't really have much plans for her anyway. I do have a lot of siblings, so we could just keep an eye on who is a potential... Uh, good match for them. No one that great for my daughter, oh not my daughter, my other sister, but we will continue for now. What faction do I have? I'm part of the Crown Loyalist faction. I want to ask the Lord of Ashmark. We'll ask him politely, I'm sure he'll say no. Because he's the one Lord that isn't a great fan of me. Oh, he has actually said yes. Okay. Well, that's sweet. I need to send my... Uh... Oh, he is in Ashmark to try and improve relations. Lord Cletus, do your thing and get them on side if you could, please. I take a deep breath and move my eyes from the half-finished dish on my table to my distended, aching stomach. I'm well beyond full and the mere smell of food is making me nauseous. This option is available due to your high personal combat skill. I can gain the fat trait. Um, do I want to gain fat? It gives me plus health, but it doesn't help me. Okay, I guess we'll do this because it's uh, something else. Smaller results. Let's try it. We should gain decent war score for him there. And do we siege this? No, we can siege Acorn Hall though. Lady Paramount Elaine Baelish has been a leal and able servant. She has indeed. We'll give her some money to reward her. What are we building at the moment in Casterly Rock? Money continues. Th oh yes, we were going to try and establish a bank, weren't we? Yeah, so I need a thousand for that. Uh, money continues to th flow through the trade post in Storm's End, but your relationship with the Hain family from Lease that owns it has soured. To teach them a lesson without going to war, I could arrange for a mob. Yep, assemble a mob. The mob has gathered successfully and stormed the trade post and burnt it to the ground. And he's improving relations with Ashmark, which is excellent. Acorn Hall has been besieged. Jamie practically lives in a... Am I educating him? Oh god, I am. Uh, well, we want him to be merry. Gluttonous, bad stewardship. Moderation, temperance a really good trait. What did you get? You got nothing. 
Fair enough. It's not actually a bad thing. Lord Benfrey has been captured. Great. So we've done what we can for the war. Hopefully he'll choose to end it. Because I'm not allowed to end it. Invading Lord Paramount Harrig Greyjoy. Uh, let's just vote yes. They found voted in favour. There we go, the war is over. And we have helped assist him. What is our relation like now? 47. Okay. The vassals of the Westlands view me with respect. Which is perfect. Fair Isle, I think you're excommunicated, aren't you? Yeah. Reginard, you want to be killing Lewis Brax. Please don't. Harold, you want to become my treasurer. I'm afraid you're not good enough. Thank you for your troops, Castamere. No, I don't need you. Right, so we want to try and get a thousand gold so we can set up a bank. Oh god, we've had all these troops up down here. Sorry. Sorry. I take it we have no more troops up, do we? No. Good. Um, my Master of Arms is in Casterly Rock. Excellent. Yeah, we can go fight in your tournament. Master of Whisperers. She can go and scheme for me. Good relations with Ashmark. Really improving. Who else has a low opinion? Oxcross. He's the only one left with a low opinion of me. So let's send him there. Uh, let's. So the king is my squire. Awesome. Uh, but we, we won't blame him. I can't uh, make him a knight just yet, but it might be good if we can. Sir Edmund's turn to joust, but to the crowd shock, he stumbles out. Oh, he's drunk. Sir Edmund, what are you doing? Let's try and place a, ble uh, a bet. If we can. Garland, you are doing pretty good with your troops. We have a claim on the ring, which I want... Or maybe... Was it the ring? The ring's one province. Oh yeah, we took Golden Grove a while ago, didn't we? My kinsman Martin's facing Garland. Despite Garland being 57, he has a great personal combat. Lord Garmin was unhorsed, so he beat my uh, my kinsman, but that's fine. We're up to 900 gold, so very shortly we will be able to establish a new bank, which would be uh, pretty cool. It gives us 500 prestige, wow. A lot of plots we can do. Nothing too... Uh, who are you? Are you... No, I'm not bothered about saving you. We just went to war with you. Don't care about fabricating evidence. There's no one really that we need to rescue. Got no one in my prison. Me and my wife get on and she's a genius. Ah! My son needs to be educated. Well, he is going to be... Let's make him good with numbers if we're making a bank. And let's spend a lot. We're now known as the open-handed. Is that because we're generous with our money? I suppose it is. Whoa, okay. What's going on here? Uh, you want to marry... my daughter. Sure. Are you of the royal house? You descended from Robert's kids. No. No.
Cletus wants all the people under him. But I'm not going to give him Will. No, we'll use our diplomacy. He already has a lot of land that we've given him. What faction am I in? Crown Loyalists. Uh, we don't need to push her into Crown Loyalists. It's fine. Back up to 800 gold. Who are my daughters marrying? No one currently proposed. Any matrilineal marriage that we can get. We could get the Stoneway. Could get a Bolton. I think the Stoneway would be quite good. And my son needs to be educated, so let's see who is good. I'm gonna take him on myself, I think. Seeing as we've turned out pretty well. Anyone he can marry? Lady of Hawthorne, Moon's Grey. Princess of Marine. Uh, oh, you're holding a feast, are you? You're 16. Have you come of age? Looks like you've come of age. Can I anoint you a knight? No, he needs to be 18. And let's get more levy size if we can. We've arrived in King's Landing where Jamie's greeted us warmly. And so he should. I regret to inform you that we've decided to remove you from your position on the council. Are you going to war? Who with? Marine! Ah. So the realm is in such good stability that we're actually travelling across the narrow sea. Which we've not had a look at in a while. Uh, Queen Elona Selmy. How on earth is Barristan's... Wow, okay. Uh, has issued a call to all her subjects. How many troops does she have? 9,000, we should be fine. You want to marry Lord Benjamin the Trident to her? Sure. I need a new Lord Treasurer. Uh, none of them are that great. You are a learner, so I don't need you. Is there anyone that could potentially come on in? 17. Quentin, do you want to join me? Whoa, Castamere, that's why you can give me so many troops. Gee whiz. My daughter is good at education. Sorry, is good at diplomacy. So we'll get her educated at court. Whilst we've got the money, we might as well use it to make them as good as possible. And new treasurer has arrived. Let's get more. Where do we get more money from? You provide 70. You provide 62. Okay. Oh, Cletus has become come excommunicated, that's not good for him. Can we uh, lift that at all? No. Why can I not lift this? I have the piety. Oh, I actually don't have the piety. My piety is really small. Lady Brienne of Tarth has been an able servant. She has indeed. Let's give her some money. How do I increase piety? What will you give me? More piety? Merchant ships, a hundred ships will arrive. Uh, Master at Arms is not doing anything. Right, you're full, and Storm's End should be full as well. But we get more tr we get more troops at Casterly Rock, interestingly enough. So train some here. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. My lord, I write on behalf of the bank to express consternation at the actions of my bannerman. We'll use diplomacy, it's fine, don't worry about it. You are annoyed about Hardstone enjoying command over my armies. 
He also wants a title. We'll make him Paramount Knight so that he becomes super happy. Alina fancies me, but we're not going to engage. Uh, interestingly enough, Marine has sent 6,000 troops into my lands. So, Lord of Stoneway, you're not going to give me any troops, why not? Why can't I raise your levy? Presumably you're fighting already. Okay, anyone in the... Tarth, you'll give me not much. Alright, well we'll summon Storm's End levy along with Tarth's levy to try and take out the Marine army. I can't have Lady Brienne leader, unfortunately, so uh, Reginard and Asher, you will lead. And is this in the mountains? Oh, it is in the mountains. So instead go there and wait on him. You notice Lord Oliver is acting very selfishly. Uh, I don't mind selfish because it gives him one stewardship and we want him to be good at stewardship. Oh, hello. A genius. She's 31 though. An 11 year old genius though. Huh. I think we take her. And he will be just, which is excellent. It's just a great trait. She now needs educating my daughter and she wants to be good at diplomacy. So, who is the best at diplomacy? Martin, you're pretty good. Give it a go. She's also gained just. All my kids have just now. Right. You're not sieging anything and you're just struggling. How many troops will you give me? Not many. For the glory of the gods, the local septum wants to organise a miracle to pay for the pious. Okay. Well, we can do that. And we do have enough to lift an excommunication. Can we lift his excommunication? And why not? Base reluctance minus 50. Because Cletus has some bad traits. Okay. Well, if there's not much we can do, then we'll have to accept it. Let's try and attack them in the mountains. They will have a big old advantage, but we'll hope... Oh god, we got completely destroyed. And my commander got slain. Okay, that was not a good move. Learn lesson. Don't fight in the mountains. Lesson learnt. Uh, who do we prefer? Golden Tooth? I suppose Golden Tooth. You want to pay for her release? Sure. Could you improve relations with Oxcross for me? And we have enough gold to establish the bank. Which I think we have to wait until we're at peace, but... Once we can, I think we're going to try and do that. Uh, are there any big commanders that want to join? And betrothed can marry. My brother to marry Lady Malara of Last Hearth, sure. If she accepts it. Uh, in the meantime, any commanders want to join? Tarly at 19, you're fairly young. And he has accepted. And she has accepted the marriage. So my brother, who we'll send a bit of money to, just to uh, improve relations with him, will now rule in the north at last half, which is pretty good. 
Uh, my son Oliver practically lives in the kitchens, but we want him to be temperate. Which he gets. Excellent. That's a great role. And I need to appoint that new person as my commander before I forget. Ooh, it's been filled. Uh, who's not great? Drake's Grave. Thanks, but no thanks. Barkin. You can be my Master of the Hunt as well. And let's have a look. Mark. Uh, you want to be my Regent, do you? I'm happy with that. She's been a good wife. Good, the war's ended. Perfect. Let's do nothing and let's just pause so that we can establish this bank, which I've never done before. So I'm intrigued to see what happens. The Bank of the Narrow Sea. With much pomp and ceremony, your new bank has been officially opened. Lords from all around Storm's End have gathered at the grand new bank building and have been given a tour of the impressive vaults and chambers that will hold your initial pile of gold. Scribes and coin masters have been hired and are ready to begin issuing loans. May the bank of the narrow sea be prosperous. So it changes our coin reserves by 700. We join the bank of the narrow sea society. This bank may be renamed using the rename bank decision. And we get 200 banking stature. So if I go to societies. Interesting. I am the high councillor. Which grants me plus three stewardship. Is there anything we can do? No one else is a member. List all known societies. Awesome. Can I get people to join then? Possibly. What about if I go to plots? Mm, no. Oh, here we go. Hire a banker. Hire a respected banker from the Bank of the Narrow Sea into my personal service. I lose 150 banking stature. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Review bank accounts. Set bank interest rate strategy. Let's do that. At what level would you like to set interest rates? Bank of the Narrow Sea base interest rate is set at 30. Well, we want to be competitive. So let's keep it normal. Huh, okay, well that's cool. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But a nice little event. And he is back in charge. We will indeed take our position back. And Ah, my lord, our fledgling new bank has granted one of its first loans. Lord Bazemar Zoblador of Mantaris has taken a loan of 70 gold. May this be the first of many. Right, end your plot please, and end your plot. So the Lannisters have now established a bank and have gone into banking. Excellent. Uh, but with that and the newly established Bank of the Narrow Sea, we are going to have to end the episode there. Um, please do leave a like if you're enjoying the series, comment and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next episode.